Hello and welcome to Uniform History and our continuing series on the U.S. military's modern camouflage patterns. In this video, we will be covering the U.S. Air Force's digital tiger stripe pattern, otherwise known as the Airman Battle Uniform, or ABU for short. Remember to also check out earlier videos in the series covering the Marine Corps and Army patterns. So with the intro out of the way, let's begin. It's 2003. The Air Force has noticed a trend. Different branches are creating more effective but original camouflage patterns. So what's the Air Force to do? The exact same thing, but with one major difference. Then Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General John Jumper, said he wanted a camouflage that would distinguish the Air Force from all other branches. The kicker, Jumper went on to mention that concealment effectiveness was not a concern. So, in the summer of 2003, the Air Force unveiled a new prototype Tiger Stripe camouflage using a classic Vietnam War era Tiger Stripe as a base. This new pattern instead implemented blue and grays rather than green and browns. Additionally, the Air Force logo was placed inside the pattern. Starting in February 2004, 700 airmen stationed at various bases wore the new blue Tiger Stripe for a period of six months. As part of the blue Tiger Stripe uniform, patrol caps were replaced with ones closer to the eight-pointed cap. It was short-lived though, as many felt this was a marine thing. It was quickly dropped and the traditional patrol cap returned. A website was created as well, where the 700 along with all other active and reserve airmen, as well as Air National Guardsmen could comment, leave feedback, and so on. 100,000 different personnel left comments and another 25,000 were polled. The biggest complaint? The blue in the pattern, effectively resulting in the camouflage having no concealment properties. The pattern was so blatantly obvious that airmen were using words like Smurf and Hawaiian shirt to describe the new uniforms. The Air Force's response to these comments was that, at the time, roughly 97% of active Air Force personnel would have no need for camouflage. The other three or so percent that did would simply use older patterns such as M81 Woodland and the Three Colored Desert. However, Air Force officials relented and soon after a new version of the Tiger Stripe was revealed. You can see here in a side-by-side -side the differences. The dominantly blue color was dropped for a more subtle one, giving it a more overall gray look. Additionally, the Air Force logo was dropped and the pattern was semi-digitized. The new digital pattern didn't receive as much widespread testing and experimenting. Instead, it was only given to certain Air Force Special Forces. One can't help but notice that the colors of the new pattern was very reminiscent of the Army's UCP pattern, and, as stated by numerous people, looked almost identical from a distance. Regardless of the similarities, the testing continued. As field testing went on, various other recommendations from airmen were brought up, the main one being the obvious similarities to the older battle dress uniforms. If you remember, both the Marine Corps and Army updated the cut of their uniforms, giving them slanted pockets for easier access and altering the material of the uniform. Yet, one of the biggest complaints received was that the material was too thick and heavy, which meant airmen operating in hotter climates were baking inside their uniforms. To make matters worse, the placement of the inside map pocket was hard to access and added to the heat issue. With all the mounting complaints and constructive feedback, the Air Force debuted the new pattern and uniform as the Airman Battle Uniform, or ABU, on October 2, 2007. It was first issued to airmen undergoing basic training at Lackland Air Force Base in Texas, along with incoming students at the Air Force Academy in June of 2008. After that, a slow rollout of the new uniform began to forces in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Kuwait. Once again, though, the heat issue was brought up, and so in June of 2011, it was announced a summer weight ABU would be made out of the same material as the Army's ACU, which was 50% nylon and 50% cotton. Finally, on October 1, 2011, ABU became the standard issue to all airmen. The digital tiger stripe consisted of a blouse, trousers, patrol cap, and boonie cover. Various pouches and gear were also printed in the new ABU pattern. However, airmen were authorized to use load-bearing vests and other tactical items in the Army's UCP as the colors were virtually identical to the digital tiger stripe. Though much like the concealment problems with the Army's UCP, it wasn't long for people to start pointing out that ABU had some of the same issues. Tiger Stripe Products, the company who had designed the original pattern, addressed these concerns in an open letter. In it, the company mentioned all their recommendations had been ignored, going so far as to say the Air Force's intentions for the pattern was more of a fashion statement than an effective one. 
as made clear by the prototype Blue Tiger Strike. Responding to mounting criticism and complaints, the Air Force announced that starting February 1, 2012, airmen were no longer authorized to wear ABU in Afghanistan. Instead, all active personnel were to begin wearing OEFCP. When the new Scorpion W-2 OCP uniforms debuted, they too were adopted by most deployed Air Force personnel. The only difference, though, being that all rank, name tapes, and insignia utilized a gold thread instead of the Army's black. In August 2017, ACUs, ACUs in this case meaning any multicam or Scorpion W-2 uniforms from the Army, worn by airmen were officially renamed the Airmen Combat Uniform. Then, on May 14, 2018, it was announced that starting on October 1, 2018, a branch-wide transition to OCP uniforms would begin by allowing any airmen who had it to wear it. OCP would also begin being stocked on a few bases. The announcement also went on to say that starting on October 1, 2019, all new recruits will be issued only OCP and by April 1, 2021, ABUs would be completely phased out. Finally, the adopted name of Airmen Combat Uniform would be dropped and the uniforms will continue to be called Operational Combat Pattern. Oh, and as a final note, the Digital Tiger Stripe is also currently worn by the Egyptian and Dominican Air Forces. Well, it looks like it's the end of another video. As always, I hope you found it interesting and informative and perhaps even entertaining. Anyway, a subscription is always appreciated. Otherwise, be sure to check back soon when we close out the United States series of modern camouflages with the Navy's NWU and AOR patterns.